Everybody, welcome to Rolling on Three, the first Riker Ride Three Wheeler podcast. Today, I have on the show a very special guest. Her name is Beth from her YouTube show, Riker Rides. Really big channel, four thousand subscribers so far. Gaining a little more, a little more. <laughs> uh, gaining a lot of traction, moving real good. Thank you for being on the show. I appreciate it. you're my second guest. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks, Keith. I appreciate it. Perfect, perfect. I just want yeah. to start out. We'll start the question like I usually start. Which record did you get? I have a 900 Ace. Um, I, did, I decided against the rally because I wasn't. I didn't think I was gonna be going kind of off roading, and I like the. I just like the look of the the 900. But the 600 has power. Everyone's kind of like scared of the 600. The 600 was great, but I chose the 900 because I wanted to have the power there if I needed it. So I'd rather have the power there and not need it than need the power and not have it. And I'm very happy with the purchase. And where did you get your Rika from? A dealer? Uh, no, funny enough, I did not get it from a dealer. I actually bought it used. Um, I think okay. everyone assumes I bought it new. But I actually bought it used. Um, it had 500 miles on it, and it was in tip-top shape. Um, and before I bought it, I called the dealership up that he actually bought it from and verified that it's never been in for any kind of maintenance issues and didn't have any problems. So 500 miles and I saved so much money buying it used. Um, so it's nice to get it used. It kind of the braking period's done and it's just kind of ready to go. And I've never had a problem with it since. Well, I'm a, I guess I'm the only person who purchased it from a dealer and paid all those fees. But I was on a waiting list for mine because oh, really? it came out. I ran to the dealer. I'm on a waiting list. And then I get the call two days before. And the guy's like, I got two. You either get me. You got to be here in two hours or they're gone. So I ran right down and got it. But It's so funny that it's in such high demand. I think it's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. So, um, did you ride before? You know, I, not so much. Um, I've always, since being a little girl, I've always been so interested in motorcycles, how they work, the, the beauty of them, the artistry of them. I've always been obsessed with motorcycles. And then as I got older, any chance I had to rent a scooter anywhere I was, whether it be Key West or Newport, Rhode Island, anywhere I was, I would rent a scooter. I just love that feeling of being, having the wind in my face. And uh, then I eventually bought a scooter for myself. And it was a decent sized scooter, I had a decent sized engine. Um, and I, you know, funny enough, I didn't love it. Um, I think it was the two wheels on it. Whenever I, I was afraid to ride it, I was like worried about potholes. I was worried about if there was an oil slick, I was worried about something. I can't usually come back from my ride stressed from being on it. And so I got rid of it and really didn't think about it again. And then come a year ago, I realized I want to get back on it. I want to get on something with a little more power. So I went to the motorcycle shop and I was really kind of looking for another two wheel mo in a motorcycle. And then it all came back to me why I didn't like the two wheel. And then I sat on the Can Am Riker and the <laughs> second my butt hit the seat, I was in love. I was just, this is, like, it goes weird. I sat on it. That's why I tell everybody, like, how do you know which one you want, the Spider or the Riker? I just sat on the Riker and I was just, oh. It was just me. You and know, my, uh, my experience, the same thing. When I, it reminded me when I was a child, and this is probably going to give up my age, but when I used to ride a little big wheel down the block. And of you course. Had, you had the pedal and the two handlebars, <laughs> and that was just so cool. And I said, wow, this is making me feel like a little kid again. I was like, this is I got to get it. Does your biker in the making? Yeah, of course. Everybody had a big wheel. That was awesome. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad. That, okay. So do you ride a lot with groups or you do a lot of alone riding? What do you do? You know, it's, it's a great question. When I bought my bike, I really didn't think I was going to ride as much as I did, uh, as much as I do. I thought I'd be riding it to the store, riding it to go get a cup of coffee and around the neighborhood, just kind of like what I did with the scooter. And then somehow I fell um, in with this group called um, Soul Flow Riders uh, based here in South Florida. And you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of us and we ride together. We ride every weekend. And so I ride a lot in big groups and we ride everywhere. We ride to the Keys, we ride to the Everglades, we just ride. So there's pluses and minuses. I love riding with the group. I love the camaraderie of the group. But then I also like doing my own thing. I like kind of pulling off what I want to pull off. I like going at my speed. I like doing my own thing. So I like both ways. Um, I, I'm very happy in groups and I'm very happy in riding solo. Either way, I'm great. 
As long as I'm riding, I'm good. All right, that's great. Well, it's Florida, so you got all that riding weather. That's I got to go down. I, I have to go down for a season, and I have to, you know, bike it up. It's New York, so, you know, it is not cool riding in the snow. No, it is not. Um, so now we're talking about your bike and all that. Let's talk about those mods, because I've been following your channel, and, man, I, tell me, and a rough estimate about how much money in mods. You know, I knew you were going to ask that, so I, I actually, I, I wrote it out. And oh, <laughs> It, it's it's a little embarrassing, I gotta tell you. Um, I'm at two thousand two hundred twenty-two dollars worth of mods on a, and a bike and a bike that I spent seventy four hundred dollars on. So listen, you yeah, that's not bad because I'm I'm at eighteen hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not doing so bad. I mean, I like I like what you're doing on your channel. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. You, you know, you're on point. I know, I've seen your comments. You've helped a lot of people out, a lot of people. I try, I try, yeah. I think my channel, the, the beauty of it is that I basically, I've never had a bike before. I've never worked on a bike before. I've never worked on a car before. Mm -hmm. I am just like everybody else. I'm not a mechanic. I have, no, really, I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I don't know if I should admit that to people watching, but I have no idea what I'm doing. And... So when I'm doing it, I am literally learning before I do my do do the modification or do the add-on or do the oil change. I do all my research. I do all you know tons of stuff kind of behind the scenes to get to where I feel comfortable doing it live on the you know or on the channel. And but so my motto is so I can do it. Anybody can do it because I honestly have no clue what I'm doing. So when I, when you see me doing it and it looks kind of easy or difficult. That's what's happening at the time. Some some modifications are definitely more difficult than others, but I'm willing to attempt anything. I, I love working on it. It makes you one with the bike when you work on it. Like yeah, it's true. It's true. I, I'm I'm the same way. But I rode before, so tinkering with bikes wasn't scary to me. Yeah. I mean, but three wheels is a whole new concept. Right. But um, yeah, I, I've been tinkering around. I've put some stuff up on my channels. I've got people that actually actually come by and bring their bikes and say, hey, can you look at this and look at that? And I, I think I'm becoming like a, a street mechanic out here in New York <laughs> City when it comes to Rikers. Cause... I hope you're getting paid. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I just tell them, look, I got to put it on the show. You know, that's all. That's exactly right. Exactly right. You got a you know, great... I've offered, that, I've, I'm sorry, I've offered that to people as well. Like anybody that's in, in the area, if they have a mod that they want to do, we can work on it together. You know, you pay for the mod, I'll, I'll be happy to help them install it. I, and I've done, uh, people who live in other areas, I've actually FaceTimed with them and worked on them and, and helped them do it. So I'm, I'm very kind of out there. I, I, I love helping. So it's kind of my, my thing. No, no, you're out there. I was referred to your channel by one of my YouTube subscribers. That's awesome. That's so it's cool. Like, no, I'm already following them, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, whoever recommended me, I appreciate it. So your production on your YouTube channel is awesome. I mean. Thank you. It's really great. It's really great. Why'd you decide to do everything on YouTube? Did you have a channel before or is this something you just... I've never had a channel before. Um, I never, you know, it's funny. I, I watch YouTube all the time and um, I actually watch it much more now than I ever have, obviously, but... You know, it, it came at a time where I had a lot of um, serious stuff going on in my life. Um, some of it's personal, other of it's like my father was recently diagnosed with dementia and it was like really bad, a really hard time. And, you know, all my focus was on him and, and making sure he was getting the care that he needed. He lives nearby and it was kind of like a slap in the face. And as he got settled with his diagnosis and the medications and all that kind of stuff, and then I realized I need something because it doesn't go away. He still has it. It's been almost three years now. So it's still bad. It's still, and I, I needed an outlet. Um, and that's why I ran to get the Riker is like, I wanted something to kind of take my mind, mm -hmm. you know, that right. kind of, you know, time to relax, time for me. Mm -hmm. And then um, I started researching accessories and things to do on the bike. And then I started watching other people's YouTube channels. I'm like, oh, I could do that. I could do a YouTube channel. Sure. Why not? Like a lot of people, there's a lot of people that are starting YouTube channels thinking, oh, it's no big deal. It's a lot of work. It's like crazy, as you know. Yeah. Um, I was actually, the reason I started mine, um, I had got COVID. And really? I'm in bed and I'm just watching constant YouTube videos and I'm looking out the window at my bike and just saying, this sucks, you know? I was <laughs> like, I can't do nothing. So 
as soon as I got a little bit better, I said, you know what? Why don't I just feel myself just messing around with my body? I'm here watching it all the time. And I, yep. I'm not sure if my first video was how to wrap a Riker. I'm, I'm, I can, I'm not sure. I, I, but that video okay. is probably where I had got the most traction, where I said, you know what? I'm going to just keep doing it and playing around. Yeah. Just, I'm doing the same thing as you, just playing around, playing around with it. You know, I, throw, I try to throw different videos up there. Same thing, I never had a YouTube channel, and I say, you know, why not? Everybody else is doing it, and how hard could it be? Oh, yeah, it's pretty hard. <laughs> it, no, it's hard, and I think you need thick skin, too, because some, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the beginning, <laughs> people's comments are so hard. Oh, yeah, they're mean now. They're little, little keyboard jockeys telling you everything you're doing wrong. You're like, man. Keyboard killers. Keyboard you know? killers. Computer gangsters. Yeah. 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 Uh, I know, man, so. It's rough, but, you know, keep up the good work. You're doing great on that YouTube channel. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, your ideas, you know, is it you just sticking with mods or are you planning on breaking that channel out into other things? I see you took some trips. You want yeah. to talk about those uh, adventures you took? You know, um, I think people look at my channel. As, so I follow the stats. You know, I'm, like, obsessed with all the numbers on YouTube. And, and I know which ones do well, and it's a fickle, a fickle audience because- yeah, it is. Trying to understand YouTube is, a, is yeah. a, it's a mind game, yeah. Yeah, it's, you're literally only as good as your last video. And if your last video is bad, I mean, you, you know, you can lose them quickly. So um, I try to be aware of what my subscribers' needs are, and I try to go with that. So, um, it, I tend to be the person that does the modifications. That's kind of like my thing. And when I veer off of that, I don't really get the views and the comments um, that I would like. But, you know, I recently put out a poll saying, you know, what do you, what do you guys want from my channel? Like, what do you, what do you want? Because there's only so many mods you can do. There's only so much money that you have. And you're like, okay, you know, do I redo mods? Like, you know, what do I do at this point? So, um, yeah, I'd like to start doing more writing vlogs. I'd like to start doing more... I'm not that good at writing vlogs. Like there are people that are really excel at it. Yeah. I find myself when I do it, I'm like, um, 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 through the whole video. There was one time I did a writing vlog and someone said, you know, you mentioned the word um like 32 times. I'm like, <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate the insult. So <laughs> I, you know, it, 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 doing vlogs, I kudos to the people that do like the border Riker. He's, he's one of my favorites. His name's George over in Scotland. He does a great job and has great scenery and, uh, for me, and, and I'm always like my GoPros on, on um, the front uh, side of my helmet. And when I'm doing vlogs, like it's super important to keep your head steady. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, looking everywhere and it, it makes the audience dizzy. So I need to get better at it, but I, I'd like to kind of do more riding vlogs. Now that the weather's changing um, and it's cooler in Florida, I'm, I'm going to try to get some more vlogs in there and, and see where it goes. But, I, you know, I like doing that. I have one coming out soon for windward walls here in miami uh -huh. and it's a really cool place and they take an old area and they re redid it and re gentrified it and made it with all cool graffiti everywhere so that's going to be a cool one coming out oh that's cool that's cool yeah, yeah it's kind of hard for me to get the riding vlogs out because of so much traffic in new york city yeah so i'm usually like <laughs> Yeah, upstate New York, though. That's a beautiful area up there. Yeah, upstate. It's a, it's a little ride for me. I have to take that ride out soon. But um, just the, just on the daily, it's just stuff out here. You know, it's mostly, you know, bumper to bumper traffic. But, you know, sometimes people get a kick out of me sitting in traffic just talking and listening and saying, yeah, I'm only going three <laughs> miles per hour today. <laughs> I know. Riding around New York City, that's, you know, who wouldn't love to see that? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of traction on my bike accident, too, of sitting in traffic. I just put a video up of somebody oh. hitting, banging into the rear yeah. bike, yeah. Is it weird to say I can't wait to watch that? Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just dropped it. <laughs> Everybody loves accidents. I mean, you know, why not put it up there? It survived. I have to say that. If anybody wants to know out there, your bike will survive a three mile per hour accident. It might be a little bit of pieces shifted around, but it yeah. will survive. So just to let those Rikers on it, it was an yeah. SUV. It was a rear end accident. And did it, did it, did it take you off the bike at all? Or you kind of just, nah, it was just a nice little jolt, you know, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, 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 
it is what it is in New York. You just, yeah. you take the hits with the wins, right? Exactly. <laughs> a friend of mine was on, um, he was at a stoplight and he got hit pretty bad um, by a car and it kind of threw him off and broke his leg and stuff. But, um, you know, they didn't total the bike. The bike kind of, kind of handled pretty well. Um, you know, it's those, it's that three wheels that just kind of, it, oh, yeah. it's, a false, it's a false sense of security, but it definitely, yeah. it, it definitely, is definitely makes you feel safer um, for sure it is you get very very relaxed because yeah. i know from being on two wheels when i was a lot younger to now i could sit there and you know it's like ah oh, it's no big deal but i am on a bike i gotta remember but you do start to get that full sense of security but Absolutely. as for the ride i mean i love it i mean i when the first three wheels first came out the when they first released the spider i was very very interested but then the price and I was saying, wow, at that price point, I might as well get back on two wheels, you know, and get something yeah. really nice. And yep. so then I, you know, I just gave up the whole riding scene and then the Riker came out and I just ran over to see if I could get it. And then it was a waiting order. I actually have, I think, uh, number 1000 of the production line. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I was that's looking really at, cool. the, at the VIN numbers and I'm close to that number, I was close to a thousand. So I got mm -hmm. the pretty good so i waited for it you know so how do you how do you find that out you check your uh, it's VIN usually number? it's usually the last four to five numbers of your vin number they'll tell you that's how many models were produced from I'm that factory. i know mine was a pretty early on too i guess yeah so i, I know a lot of guys got theirs they had also got um they was able to pick up used ones also that were used for the writing schools because yeah. when Mikey came out, a lot of guys ran out and did it. And they yeah. got a lot of used ones back with low miles. But now yeah. that I look around and I'm looking online, I see like people selling them. I see a lot of part outs now from accidents. Yeah. So, you know, I see some mods. Uh, we I just did an install on a Ram Air system on one of the guys out here, Riker. It's nice. It sounds really nice. It's a cool yeah. look with the pipe sticking out the side. And yeah. I see... Um, you guys adding their own tires and the paint yeah. designs and the and the wrap uh -huh. designs are amazing. Yes, yeah, yeah. I went to uh the nine eleven memorial ride out and oh, nice. the amount I mean I posted the video, but the amount of designs that these guys are putting out there to paint the it's like it's a whole new level. It's, all. it's crazy. It's, it's, it's awesome. And, you know, I don't think when I ride with my group or I, you know, I just came back from Trike Fest in Daytona, I got to tell you, I don't think I've ever seen two Rikers alike. This yeah. is, you know what I mean? There's, Can-Am boasts that there's 10,000 different modifications yeah. just for the Can-Am products, never mind the aftermarket accessories. So there's probably yeah. a million different, different ways you can modify the bike. And it makes, I think that's why, that's really why I fell in love with it, that, the uniqueness that you can make it your own. It's yeah. So cool. Yeah. The aftermarket accessories, they're branching out more. Now you start to see different people uh, putting out different accessories. It's not all, you know, grouped up into one guy. I mean, we've right. all ordered from that same guy. That's right. Same YouTube, um, dot com. I don't, he's not sponsoring, so I'm not giving him a shout out yet. Yeah. <laughs> that guy knows who I am and that company knows who it is. I've ordered, hundreds of dollars of stuff from him. So when he's ready to, you know, so um, you, so we some stuff. S? Yeah, yeah. He'll get a promotion across the channel. But right now, the S, blah, 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 dot com. Cool guys over there. They've responded to me. They're yeah, cool. Uh, you know, great guys. We went, we went back and forth. But, you know, it is what it is right now. But yeah. I'm quite sure everybody knows and everybody spent their thousands of dollars at his store. So that's yeah. great to know. But yeah. I like how everybody's lighting up their Rikers. I like how they're wrapping them up too. You know, they, yeah. it, it's pretty good. And, you know, I respect the guys that are, um, and ladies that are out there, you know, doing the work, man. It's creating yeah. a nice community of three wheelers. Yes, yeah. So I and Anytime I see a three wheeler, spider, rike, or whatever, I'm like, I feel like this instant connection, like we're family instantly. It's, <laughs> it's such a nice community. It really is. Do you um, still get the uh, people to pull up next to you and go, what is that? You know, not as much when I first 
you know, came, came into it. But I do, every once in a while, I get someone that's driving, they're like, you know, about to get into an accident looking, and I, I like it. I like the attention. Some people are like, I hate it. I hate leaving my house. People are attacking me, but, you know, but I like it. I think it's all, the more attention you get, the more, you know, people are, are aware that the videos, I mean, that the video, that the Riker is, is, is something and it's cool. And so I kind of like, I, I do, but not as much as when I first had it now. Right, right. Now, all those mods that you did, all the thousands of dollars, is it that much of an improvement or is there some regrets in there? Um, I try not to live my life with any regrets. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I, no, I don't, I don't have any regrets. I, every, every mod I've, I've done or any accessory I've put on my bike has been very, very well thought out. Some accessories that I have that I, I wish I didn't need. Um, I, I can give you that. Um, like the, um, I, I personally, I hate the look of the bike with the max mount. Really? But yeah, I, I love, I fell in love with the bike with that floating seat. Okay. I just, it looks so cool like that. Um, but you, you need the max mount for everything. So this is $300 accessory that's kind of like you have to have it. So whether it's a second seat or I have a, I have a one up backrest for me, and then I have the, um, the little carry case in the back. Matt, I just, you know, I loved how it looked without it, but that there was a necessity and I had to have it but I wish I didn't need it. Um, I, yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. Yeah. What's your favorite accessory? Actually, my favorite accessory is probably the windshield. It's probably it's, most official, yeah. Because people say, oh, it changes the look, but let me tell you, I mean, it does change the look, but the, it eases the comfort on the ride. Especially uh, the high yeah, so I have to say, I mean, it's not the coolest accessory, but I say it's the best one I bought. bought. I think the coolest accessory is probably the wraps. Yes. That's yeah. Definitely the wraps. And when I wrapped my bike, it was like, everybody was like, wow, like that just, you know, turned, and I think that's the coolest accessory. Despite the LEDs and all that, the yeah. two things that, if I had to go back and not spend the money. The muffler I put on, uh, pros and cons, it, it definitely kills the music. I can't really hear my music it, anymore. And it's high, you can't really vlog with it either. It's no, slow. no, you yeah. can't at all. So yeah, I tried yeah. a few epic fails and you know, yeah, maybe yeah. $300 in different mics and I just realized that it's not gonna work. Yeah, you know, it's funny you said that um, I actually, I was given an exhaust, um, and it, it, his name is Brad, um, and he, he gave me the exhaust, and, and it sounds amazing, um, and it's just so, so loud that I actually had to take it off the bike. Um, so it wasn't like a regret um, purchase, but I was, just, I was unable to keep it because it was just too loud for me. And um, come, I think, December 1st, I'm going to do a giveaway of, of the actual exhaust. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, but so I guess, yeah, I understand that. Um, but people like it loud. I yeah, mean, they do. It, people, because I, I recommend his exhaust and people are like, you know, they're so happy with it and they love it loud and the louder the better and loud pipes save lives and all that kind of good stuff. So people do love it. I, it's just not for me um, and my little ears. <laughs> that's cool. That, I mean, that's cool. I mean, like I said, spending that kind of money on the Rika and all the different accessories to make it look unique. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. Everybody wants somebody to look at theirs and not everybody else's. So right, right. apply all those different things, but that's great. Now, I, like I said before, I mean, I like your channel. You're doing big things on there. So um, got Fine. anything else coming up? Any type of promotion, any type of rods, anything you're doing different, what you want to tell the people out here? Well, wow, that's a, that's a good question. Um, you know, it. You know, I'm, I kind of just do it fly by my pants, the channel. Like, I don't have anything major planned. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm trailing my bike to, uh, to Georgia, uh, and I'm going to be up there for a few weeks. So hopefully, maybe I'll take a road trip to Tail of the Dragon or something like that. And get, I'm, I'm so looking forward to getting up there and into some cooler weather and some mountain weather. And um, I think Baharan is up there, so I may meet up with him. He's like a... He's a great guy, so kind of we, we communicate a lot. So he does the sway bars. I 
can't recommend him enough. So hopefully I can bump into him and maybe get a little vlog with him. Um, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't really have anything. Um, you know, my next major modification, which I haven't even thought about yet, is possibly doing the Elka shocks, um, adding them to the bike. Okay. Uh, yeah, because those, that's kind of, but you know, they're so expensive though, so I'm not quite sure uh, about it yet. But that's my next, um, hopefully my next major, major mod. Um, but I have like a few other things to reviews to do and accessories and other little things coming up. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just, I, I want to thank everyone who subscribes to my channel. It's interesting. You might know this. I don't know if you know this off the top of your head, but it's crazy the amount of people that watch your YouTube channel, I'm sure, who watch a YouTube channel and they watch all the videos they don't subscribe. Yes, yes. And, I actually, I have that number on top of my head. I had 60,000 views of my channel and 89% of those came from unsubscribers. Thank yes. you very much, unsubscribers. Yes. I know. <laughs> Subscribe yes. if you like it. I mean, honestly, it's kind of like, <laughs> all right, I'm going I'm to give a plea for both of us. If you're watching a YouTube channel, whether it's mine, whether it's Keith's, if you like it, the only way you can let the person know is by hitting subscribe. It's just, it's amazing to me how many people just watch and watch and watch. And we're giving all kinds of free advice. I'm giving free tutorials. I'm giving free reviews. It's like free, free, free. And the least thing you can do, the only thing you can really do is just hit subscribe. And that's how, that's how the channels grow. That's how, that's how people, you know, anyway, I, I, I get on my soapbox almost every video. I'm like, dude, if you're watching this, subscribe, come on now. I respect it 100%, and I'll tell you a story. I did a YouTube ch uh, show on, I made my own center caps for the Riker, right? And I got a lot of feedback. Oh, that's cool. Where'd you get the parts? How'd you make it? This and that. So I actually later on social media, I had got a hit up. Hey, man, I saw your video on the center caps. Where'd you buy the stuff? So I say, hey, man, listen, this is where I got it. This is how you do it. Just watch the video. So the guy, he was pretty big on social media. He gives a shout out and he goes, hey, I have these center caps that I'm making and I'm selling them. Now he was selling them. And he says, I want to thank, you know, Keith Hammers YouTube for helping us get this product out. And he gave me a great, great, guy, great guy, uh, Riker Riders. He was actually the first guy I did the podcast through. Oh, the podcast was great. Yeah. And thank you very much. And uh, he's actually based out of Florida. And... Um, he told me he has about, I, I can't remember how many cities this Riker Riders are in. And it's a really, really big organization. And That's I so like, cool. Yeah, I like what he's doing with it. And uh, yeah, I give him a big shout out because he gave me a nice shout out on social media. I picked up a, quite a few subscribers for him. So I'm going to thank him. But yes, please. From, from, from Riker Riders? Yeah, from Riker Riders. Uh, I, can I, I'm going to make a plea to Riker Riders, okay? <laughs> it is... No, our names are very similar. Yes, yeah. Okay. He's trademarked though. I just let you know. So no, no, no. So my my, all right. So my apologies to him. Okay. So and not and and looking at his channel, I feel bad because he, he had his channel. He had his everything before. He had his Facebook page before me. Yeah. And when I, the name just was like random name. Like I didn't. I really didn't think I was going to blow up and be. Active. So I'm thinking, oh, the Rake Ride, you know, Rake Ride. I, I, there's really not much thought that went into the name, to be perfectly honest. And and then when I saw that his channel, like, so basically when I went on YouTube and tried to figure out a name for my channel, I saw there was nothing out there that said Riker Rides or Riker Riders. There was nothing out there on YouTube. So I grabbed it and I didn't think anything of it. I never thought about other social media, oh, like okay. Facebook. I never, I never, it never came to mind. Like I wouldn't, looking I, I, back. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I wouldn't have named my channel so close to his. And I, I you know, I want to apologize, Riker, Riker Rides. Right? What is Riker Rides? Riker Rides. Rides. Riker Rides with the RZ at the end. And I never, I, you know, so my apologies. I never meant to kind of step on your toes. But I think we're both successful independent of each other. I, I don't think there's any much confusion on the two channels. So it's all good. We can all live in perfect harmony. But mm -hmm. I... I He's a good guy, and actually, I'm I'm bringing up. I think he's gonna be. I'm gonna do his co-founder of the Riker yep. Rods. He's gonna yep. be on the podcast coming up. Yep. I got a few guys uh, scheduled. Um, uh, new YouTuber, 
uh, we're just having problems connecting. I like his shows. He does his little vlogs, uh, Thrill Mouse yeah. Moto. He's gave me a lot of shout outs. I like his channel. It's pretty fun. Yep. Yep. I actually have heard of him too. Yeah. He's done yeah. a cool show. So he's, yep. We're trying to hook up so he could be a yep. guest on Very you. Very cool. And yeah. like I said, it's there's, a lot, there's a lot of great YouTubers out there. Yeah, really there are, you know. Yes. Are. So I've been yeah. hitting them up and um, same thing like you. I just have said, wow, how come nobody's doing a podcast with Riker Rovers? I think it's awesome. And it's so unique that you're doing this. I, I, it's, it's such a cool thing for the community. So, yeah, it, so that's exactly it's different, different. I love it. Yeah, so that's exactly how I did it. So uh, I just said, you know what? Let me look around. No one's doing it. I said, Wow. I said, let me just throw one out there. It can't be that hard. I watched all my YouTube videos and saw how to start a podcast and threw it out there. And here I am. Uh, there's a support link always at the end, you know, to donate to keep this thing going so I could get better equipment, better lighting, better backgrounds, you know, things like Ooh, that. Absolutely. To other channels. But um, I guess, you know, I pretty much hit everything, every point. You know, Beth, uh, thank you for Very being cool. on the show. Um, thank you so much, Keith. It's promote, a promote your channel for me, all your social media. Just give me a quick shout out of everything you have going on. Absolutely. I, you know, I don't, I'm not really big on social media. Um, I, I, I don't know about you, but I have a hard time maintaining my, my YouTube channel. Um, and I comment on every single comment someone makes. I always give a return comment. And some of them I don't think are even read, but I'm oh I, I always if someone comments I always take the time to come back. So between that and doing my research and doing my stuff on on um, Facebook and find out what people's needs are and what the chatter is all about, I, I don't know how people maintain multiple social media things. But the only other thing I have is I have a Facebook page um, that's kind of I get a lot of requests for to people join my personal Facebook page, which I keep separate. Um, okay. I don't. I don't, you know, for obvious reasons, but so I decided to come up with like a Beth's Riker Riots Facebook page. Okay. Okay. So if you want to join me on there and, uh, you know, it's kind of more of a personal thing. There's not that many, you know, people that are on it, maybe a hundred or so. So it's very personal and I post funny pictures of other trikes or this or that and kind of just, hey, good morning, how's it going? And so it's a little more of a personal thing, but so it's just on Facebook, Beth's Riker Riots. But all of that, it's all YouTube all day long. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah i'm the same way all right well you know what beth i mean that's what you got uh make sure i just want to let everybody know subscribe to best channel it's a great channel i watch it the production is on point the mods everything i mean it's actually top notch out there you know and um anybody who wants to follow me is la love rodful uh i know everybody says what does that mean that's it's a childhood joke uh, it was given to me and I have to keep the name till the day I die. It was just a bond that I have with a friend. So everything's going to be La Love Rifle, La Love for, for Rika, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you, you can find me on uh, Instagram at Shadow Black Riker because that's what they call it in the street. So I just named it Shadow Black Riker. You can find my Riker pics and my short videos on Twitter under Serving Warrants. Uh, you can figure out take that how you want it but that's what a name is serving warrants you can figure out what that means um uh the podcast rolling on three on youtube on spotify Absolutely. and hoping to get it on itunes soon itunes you heard me i'm trying to get it out there but you know this is, but you know i'm working hard on it um like i said there's a support link down below in the description just do what you can. I want to make this into a big thing. There's no Riker podcast. I'm copywriting it. So if you steal it, well, I'll come after you. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I like the competition. Keep the comments going. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to sign off. Uh, this is episode two. Once again, thank Beth. Follow Beth. Yeah. Riker Rods. Um, that's it. I'll, I'll, and I'll promote you on my channel as well. Absolutely. Thank you, Beth. Thank I appreciate you're great, it. You're great stuff. So thank you so much for, for adding this, this element to the community. It's awesome. Appreciate it. I'm going to close thank it you. out. Yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Thank, thank you. Thank you, everybody. We're out. That's it. We're finished production. Beth, appreciate awesome. it. If you can... Um, Send me in the email uh, your logo so Perfect. I can pop it up on the podcast while while I do my editing and um 
Anything you said, else? You said JPEG is fine. JPEG is perfect. perfect. Uh, 